This Patagonia shirt is so fitting with this uh, super glam makeup look. Hola, que pasa? What's happening everyone? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, hit that subscribe button and join the family. I'd love to have you as long as you are kind to one another. And today I am going to be showing you how I covered up all of my current breakouts. It is bad. The mask me has finally gotten me. Um, I think I've just been wearing more makeup underneath my uh, mask than what I previously was doing and it caught up with me. So you will see in a bit the amount of breakouts I have in this area. But if you're looking at it right now, can you even tell? <laughs> so I'm going to show you how to cover up um, active acne, blemishes like the ingrown ones that are painful, like these large ones down here, ones that are maybe healing and have a scab on them that are textured. I'm going to go over all the details in today's video, so just keep on watching. And if you like what you see, give it a like. This side, good skin day. This side, not so much. So some of these are active, some are post acne marks. These are post acne, which means I'm just waiting for the dark spots to fade using a lot of vitamin C. Down here we have very irritated um, active acne, the most irritated skin. I can't help but pick at it. Kyle keeps telling me to stop it, but I can't. I just, I don't know, it's so doom doom. First of all, you still want to moisturize. Don't skip out on the moisturizer. Use what you typically use. I also really love the Dr. Jart Tea Tree line tea tree collection moisturizer it's like a treatment moisturizer really lightweight but still not really hydrating but if you want to layer that on first for like a treatment then moisturize that's great i already moisturized just gonna add a little more and i remember one time doing makeup on a model and she had the dry skin it was dry and flaky and on top of that she had acne and she told me that her mom had told her to stop moisturizing because it was causing the acne but it was actually making it worse because on top of the acne, her skin was dry and flaky. So still moisturize. Next, I'm gonna be using this treatment primer from Cover FX. It's a mattifying primer with acne treatment. And I'm gonna apply it all over because, I mean, it's pretty much all over my face minus my forehead. So I'm gonna apply a good amount, just really work it into the skin. I don't wanna use, or what I wanna avoid is using products that are further going to irritate those blemishes. So while the best thing to do is to not wear makeup, you're still gonna wanna cover it up. One of the big questions I always get is, Melissa, how do I cover texture? The bad news is you cannot get rid of texture. If you have texture, texture will be there. Think of a sidewalk. You place a rock on top and then you keep layering new layers of cement no matter what until you have a thick layer of cement there's always gonna be that bump there. So you can't physically remove texture, you can cover it up, we're gonna cover this up, but there will still be bumps there. This is why it's important to take care of your skin first versus just trying to cover up the situation with makeup like we're gonna do today, but today, that's what we're doing. Instead of going straight for a full coverage foundation, I'm gonna go with what I would typically use. I love my skin in Makeup Forever Reboot. Even when my skin is super irritated, flaky, dry, this foundation always looks good, whereas some other foundations that are on the heavier side can further accentuate the problem versus covering it up and still looking fresh. Whereas with this foundation, I'm gonna pretty much just use this to even out my skin tone, and then we're gonna add more coverage where needed with concealer. So I just use my fingertips to warm it up first to get a really natural skin-like finish, and then I'm using my Ofra sponge to blend it in. For my blemishes, I used to love, 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 and still love it, Laura Mercier Secret Camouflage but it's a little on the light side. I don't have anything darker than this. So another concealer that I've really been loving is the Marc Jacobs Accomplice Concealer. I use the shades Medium 39 as well as Medium 33. And I'm gonna go in directly onto the skin. So Medium 39 is gonna be a little dark, that's okay. But you definitely want something with a nice creamy, full coverage <laughs> texture. I'm just gonna apply it directly on top of the blemishes like so. And because this concealer is a little dark, I'm also gonna go in with the lighter shade right on top just to kind of mix the two directly on my skin. I love a product that's super creamy when you have texture or like scabbing from acne because I feel like it really works around that texture, really um, kind of like <laughs> wraps itself around the blemish. So those two colors mixed together work perfect. 
I'm then gonna take a little kabuki brush and start blending it out. I'm gonna pat it in and then on the edges, I'm gonna buff it out. So by patting it in, I'm gonna keep the coverage on the blemishes and then blend out the concealer so it doesn't look so concentrated on the areas of the blemishes. And for the final step, I'm taking my sponge and just lightly, very lightly, you don't wanna press too hard because you could also lift the concealer off the blemishes, but I'm gonna lightly pat over my entire face so that way it's just evening everything out and further blending the areas that have been concealed into the foundation. And look at that. Nice light coverage across the entire face, but more coverage where needed. And you get this nice weightless covered up. What's happening there? You get this really nice finish. It doesn't feel like you have layers and layers and layers of makeup on. Obviously right here, um, there's more, but you don't have to completely cover yourself in this amount of product on your entire face. And then from here you can conceal and highlight like normal down the center of the face. I'm gonna use the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Concealer because whenever I have a ton of blemishes, I feel weighed down by my makeup. So I wanna keep everything else really light. This concealer is very light. And I'm gonna use that to highlight like I normally would down the center of the face. And also the forehead and bridge of the nose. and then just being really careful when I'm buttering out that bit of concealer that I added to the chin to balance out the color. We're back. We're back in business, minus my sponge. <laughs> to set everything, this is do or die for your acne, okay? We did all this hard work to cover it up. When you're setting with powder, and it's important that you set with powder because again, you're gonna mattify the blemishes so that they're not accentuated with a glow or shine, but also you wanna lock in that concealer, that coverage that is sitting there covering the blemishes. I'm gonna use the trusted Laura Mercier translucent powder. And instead of using a brush, I'm gonna dip my sponge, that's the same one I've been using this entire time, into the powder. I kinda just use the palm of my hand to dust off any excess like so. And I'm gonna press the powder, again, gently all over my face to set everything, but especially those areas with the added concealer, the added coverage. I know we look powdery, but I need you to not mist, to not mess with the powder, to not try and like brush it away. Just let it sit. You want it to, again, lock that concealer, that coverage in place. So we're gonna bronze. And this is where your tools and your brushes really matter. You want brushes that are extremely soft that aren't gonna disrupt the, the base, the foundation, the concealer, and the powder that you've already you know, set and glued to your face. I have really been loving this Persona um, double-ended brush. It's called the Blush and Highlight Brush, but it's a really um, good multi-purpose brush. I'm gonna use it to bronze, and I'm gonna be using a NARS bronzer, the NARS Vallarta Matte. Instead of rubbing back and forth, I'm gonna do a pat and a sweep. So a very light patting motion and then sweeping upwards, but not rubbing so that I don't lift any of the coverage from my skin because as you guys saw, I had a lot of blemishes, a lot of post acne marks in this area. So I wanna just pat the bronzer on, almost like it's adding more coverage, but with bronzer and then just lightly sweeping and blending. And this brush is so, so soft that it really should not cause any damage to this beautiful coverage that we have created. <laughs> And then right here, being really gentle, I like to add a little bit of bronzer here on the sides of the chin for some definition. I'm gonna switch over to a smaller brush to add it to the sides of the nose. Thankfully, I don't have any blemishes where I would highlight, minus this one right here. So I would just be a little careful if you still wanna highlight to not, so like for, my, for example, my chin, sometimes I'll highlight that area, but because there's so many blemishes there right now, I'm gonna avoid it at all costs because a highlight over a blemish, again, is just going to accentuate it. I'm gonna use my absolute favorite highlighter, the Revlon number 202 Twilight Gleam Skin Lights Highlighter. And I'm gonna use the other end of the Persona brush. I love that it's small as well, so you won't get carried away if you are trying to avoid a blemish. And instead of um, sweeping it all across my cheekbone, I'm gonna keep it like right to the very, very top of the cheek right there. Adding it to the brow bone. And then I'm gonna use a darker shade of the Revlon Skin Lights. This is, oh, I forgot I broke it in my last video. <laughs> <laughs> but it's still surviving. This is the shade 110 Sunlight Glow, which I love for a shimmery bronzer effect on the forehead. 
blush, want to keep it matte as well. I'm going to be using this beautiful shade from NARS. It's called Behave. And I usually pair it with another shade called Illicit, which is extremely glowy. I would say it's like a metallic glow. Don't want to do that because of all the blemishes on my cheeks. So I'm just going to use that Persona brush, that same larger side with the bronzer, and just sweep that onto the cheeks. Keep it matte. And then afterwards we can mist and let it all sink in and look like skin and not like uh, we use the amount of powder that we did. Powder's your friend, promise. And same thing when I'm adding the blush, I'm patting it in like this and I'm not sweeping to make sure I'm keeping the coverage on my skin. See how it doesn't look that blended right there? I'm just gonna take this little hourglass brush and lightly sweep down to help blend it out. This one is also extremely soft, so it shouldn't disrupt the coverage on the skin, but just lightly blend everything out. I am gonna do my eyeshadow off camera and then I'll be back to finish off the skin. In a shocking plot twist, <laughs> my look came out a little more dramatic than what I was anticipating. I was gonna go with something more natural and then I was like, you're boring, you always do that. So this is what I came up with using the 420 palette from Melt Cosmetics. If you guys want like a quick tip video on how to apply a smoky shadow when you already have your base on, let me know. Now for a very important step, we're gonna mist to make the powders look very skin-like. Feel like a bartender. Just kidding. <laughs> I'm gonna use two. I'm gonna use one that is hydrating. I love the Fenty Beauty What It Do Mist because it is so so soft, it lands on your face in this perfect, even veil of mist. So I'm gonna do this one first. And I do like to always fan myself to let it dry immediately so that way nothing starts to shift around. It just kind of like sets in place. So the first mist, or the only mist, would be like a hydrating mist or one that's just kind of like a refreshing mist. The second one I would recommend if you are going for more of a matte finish, Makeup Forever, uh, what is this called? Light Velvet Air. It is a matte setting spray. So it actually, do you hear that? It has a powder in it. So it's great to further set and keep that mattified look. So it's kind of up to you. Um, you can also use something like a long wearing facial mist um, or setting spray, an actual setting spray like the Urban Decay All Nighter. If you want to tone down the look of powder, something like Fenty Fix Plus, something with skincare benefits. It cosmetics. I really love the Fenty one, but I'm gonna miss myself with the Makeup Forever one as well. Spray on this one is a little more aggressive, but it does look really good afterwards. And they do make it in the original formula that doesn't have the powder in it. And that is a wrap on this video. I really love these lipsticks. I wish they weren't so expensive. These are the Victoria Beauty, or Victoria Beckham Beauty Posh Lipsticks, shade Spice. I mean, look at them, they're so pretty. But like very expensive. I think it's like almost 40 bucks for one lipstick. That is a wrap on this video. We are blemish free. We are super glam. I didn't even bother to change. I was gonna do my hair and change my top, but you know what? I feel good. I feel good about this. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. The blemishes are completely covered up, but notice, even though they're covered, there's still those little bumps there because again, you can add as much makeup as you want to cover it. It's not going to physically remove a bump, especially if it's inflamed or if there's active breakouts. Um, you know, the best we can do is cover it up with makeup and take care of our skin when we're not wearing it. If you're also suffering from mask knee, comment down below. It seriously came for like a freaking revenge on me because I was like, I haven't gotten mask knee yet, then boom. So let me know if you are going through the same thing. Um, if I can help in any way, I'm here for all of you. So don't forget to share this video with anyone who is suffering from mask knee and struggling to cover it up or any acne blemishes in general. Um, don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell, give this video a like if you enjoyed it. And I will see you in the next one.